Hello everyone and welcome to Code Crushers. Today we are going to learn about debugging in Visual Studio Code. If you haven't already installed Visual Studio Code, I suggest you to watch one of our previous tutorials on how to download and install Visual Studio Code. You can find the link below. So I went ahead and downloaded a project from GitHub for today's lesson. This is a project built with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. This filterable image gallery is a web application that allows users to browse and filter images based on different categories or tags. It provides an interactive and visually appealing way to showcase a collection of images. I went ahead and uh, installed an extension, the Go Live server. You can find it here if you go to extensions and uh, we go on and write on live live server you need to um, install these extensions so we can find out in which port our application is running so let's go ahead and close this and we go and open with live server as you can see it is running on port 5500. In order to debug, we have to launch our application. We have to launch it on uh, a browser like Edge or Chrome, so we can click on button and other functionalities, uh, and then we are going to debug and to see our variables, what value do they have uh, during uh, these uh, functionalities that we do. So, as I was saying, this runs in port 5500 and uh, we, if we want to debug, we can see here run and debug and we just go ahead and run and debug and we choose on edge. Okay, but that's not what we wanted to do. We wanted to launch it from the application. We have this launch.json, this file where we want to add a configuration. Add configuration and we are going to choose edge at launch. So the name of this configuration is launch edge, request is launch. To launch this application on edge browser, type this type URL, in this case is going to be 5500 because our application runs in this um, port. Web root, um, this specifies the workspace uh, absolute path to the web server root. So this is where our application path is. And uh, after saving, we are going to go again. And uh, here we can see when we click uh, run and debug, we have this. Uh, we have this window and we are going to choose Launch Edge and click here. And as you can see, it is starting now launching our application. Okay, as you can see, we have this error, can't reach this page. Localhost refused to connect. Okay, just close it. And as you saw before, I said we have to go live the server to start the server. And then I stopped the server because I want to show you what error do we get when we don't click on go live. So after we edit our configuration, we are going to go live starting. Okay, but not like this. We don't want to run it from live server. We want to run it from the configuration that we already added. So after we choose launch edge we are going to click on this uh, green button and as you can see now we are watching our web application from localhost as i said before this web application is um, is made of um, html css and javascript so we have the html file this here and we have index.js that has our javascript um, functionalities and also the style.css with our uh, style of uh, for our website um, so let's uh, close this and uh, as you can see here 
these images, this means that we are debugging. We are launching our web application and using these images we can debug. So let me go ahead. Uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, make breakpoints um, uh, in, um, in the JavaScript file. So if you want to debug in this line here, we are going to add inline breakpoint or we can also use shift uh, 9. So let me try it. If we click here and we sh click F9, we can put another breakpoint. If we want to remove the breakpoint, we are going to go ahead and remove breakpoint or disable breakpoint, which is going to disable this breakpoint. So when the code is running, we are not going to stop. Uh, the code is not going to stop at this uh, line. But let's leave it like this for now. And uh, let me uh, go ahead on our application and uh, go on to category phones. As you can see, uh, the icon of Visual Studio Code change. It is illuminating and uh, we can see that our um, uh, application filter cards is uh, initiated. And uh, since we had a breakpoint here, uh, the code is uh, stopping right here. So we can uh, go ahead and uh, watch our variables. What uh, kind of um, value do they have? So in this case, we can watch this E a variable and we can go ahead and add to watch okay we have it here and if we uh, put this variable to watch we can see all the values that uh, uh, that this um, variable has so this is an HTML um, element and uh, these are all uh, its properties. So, as you can see we have here altitude, alt key and uh, etc. Okay and the link where from uh, this section is coming from. Okay so this is one functionality that you can uh, use. Watch. When you go ahead and watch and uh, make a variable on watch so you can see what value does it take and uh, to move to the next line we can use F10 like this or we can also use um, uh, here this icon here step over which also is F10 okay so what is this saying this is saying that this element E is going to have the class uh, active okay and we go ahead and uh, click here, step over, or F10. And what is this function doing? This function is doing card section. What is card section? Card section, document, point, query selector, all. Card section, card. Which means that we are selecting all elements, all HTML elements, with the class card section. And uh, we have a list of HTML elements. And for all these HTML elements, we are going to add a class hide. How do we see which element has this uh, class list? Let's go ahead and uh, we can open dev tools, developer tools. We can also see it here. JavaScript. Okay, let me just. Um, I just wanted to. Okay. I'm used like this. Okay, as you can see, we have filter. We can debug here also, but in Visual Studio Code, it is easier because we can debug in Visual Studio Code also. Okay, just. Uh, So this is going to hide all the photos of the first category. OK, 
Okay, let's go back to Visual Studio Code and we are going to go ahead with F10. So this is a card. As you can see, inner HTML of this card is images phone one and phone one. Okay, let me just close it. Phone one is this one. If you go here, open the event tools, uh, and this is the HTML. H this icon here, if you click here and you go and hover over an element, it is going to show you all the, all the HTML. Um, tags that uh, make this element and you can see this is phone one so what are we doing with this function we are hiding all these elements okay in this case we are not hiding because we are we have chosen the category phones so, so we are hiding everything else except for phones this is what this if else uh, function is doing so let's go ahead and just but also if we want to step out of breakpoints we can go ahead and continue with F5 click here and as you can see we went out from the, um, the breakpoints and we are now on the second category phones and we have hided all the other images that were at the show all category and we have uh, here the phone the only two images that uh, belong to the phones category so let me go ahead and go to close category as you can see here the visual studio code image image is uh, enlightened and uh, let me explain you uh, this uh, these images, these icons up here. As we are saying, continue is going to continue from the breakpoint to run, but as we had another breakpoint here, it stopped. Then we have step over F10, which is going to go to the next line. Then we have here step into, if we had another function, this is going to go into the another function. But let me here and uh, this uh, button selection okay and uh, we have also step out which is going to go out uh, and uh, restart and stop debugging if you want to stop debugging we just click here and it all stopped so this is everything about today's tutorial this is everything about how to debug a node.js application with visual studio code Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.